Bobby will be mine! We're all going to look divine! Yeah, divine! Is it bad to look too good? Why are you asking me? It's not like I have to worry about looking too good, or kind of good, or even okay! Ah! <laughs> oh, try not to damage the lizard! And I'm sorry might be nice. She always says sorry. What? It's okay, Penny. It happens. Why, just the other day, I swung right into jars of baby bunny food, and they went everywhere. And when I saw what I did, I cleaned up the mashed peas and pureed carrots, and, well, actually, I smooshed it into a gooey little sculpture first. But the point is, I did eventually clean it up. Because it's the polite thing to do! Something is seriously wrong with that panda. Yeah, well, we should find out what it is. Set, baby light right now. Hey, hon. I've heard you're not supposed to approach a hard-working daughter without a treat. Milk and cookie? Sure, Dad. Why don't you come in and tell me about your upcoming date? Oh, my big date? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to hitting the town with my favorite girl. She's your favorite girl? I just know the two of us are going to have a great time. Yeah, a great time. Toodles. something wrong, Penny? Uh, yes. You stopped. Keep going, dance machine. When I sing, yeah, I know it's amazing. Don't you just want to sing just like me? And my clothes, yeah, I know they're amazing. My scarf is a velveteen paisley. say so myself? Talk to me. Is it time to usher in stage six, Blythe? <laughs> no, I'm just imagining what it'll be like when my dad's out dating all the time. 
sounds like stage six for sure. You're coming to grips. Let's celebrate. Over the phone? Over ice cream would be better. Do you have any? I'm at your front door. I'll get it. Hi. Are you here? Ew. Wow. Life's measurements were way off. Measure twice, cut once. That's what I always say. <sighs> well, maybe you'll look better on. <laughs> on a grizzly bear? This is so not me. But maybe I just need to break it in a little. I hope this thing isn't pretty strong. talk to you. Well, I'm not in the mood. And that is exactly what we wanted to talk about. Your mood. As in, why is it so bad? I've made a list of things that might be bothering you. Do you have fleas? Ooh, let me look. Let me look. Stop that. Uh, get off of me. No fleas. Do the pillows in your bed need to be fluffed? Believe me, darling, we've all been there. That's not my problem. Was it something we said? Or more specifically, something she said? Leave me alone! <laughs> yeah, I may be a little light in the smarts department, but I don't think she wants us to leave her alone. Of course I don't want you to leave me alone. I want you to help me tell Blythe that I don't like the outfit she's designed for. Is that all? <laughs> I tell people all the time that I don't like things. But I'm not you! I can't say things that aren't nice! <gasps> oh, no! I guess I just did! And it feels horrible! If I told Blythe that I didn't like my outfit, we would both feel horrible! Don't worry, Penny Ling. We'll talk to her for you. <laughs> you will? Just eat it up. Banana? 
I guess this is an appropriate outfit for a ball. <gasps> this outfit says yes, I'm a dog. Uh, is this a polyester blend? Because it feels a little bit cheap. And the audience goes wild! And the audience goes wild? Yay! Ooh, I'm feeling a bit peckish. <laughs> Very funny, Pepper. Hey, where's Penny Lane? Um, about that. She's gonna... Not coming. She didn't like the outfit you made for her and would rather hide than tell you. There, I said it. Someone had to, and I just did. Really? But I thought she'd love this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh. Oh. Pretty pretty, Pendling. I totally wear that. Do you mean that you didn't want her to wear an oversized man suit? Why would I want Penny Ling to wear an oversized man suit? <sighs> oh no! I better go find Penny Ling. Penny Ling? Penny, I'm Blythe, before you say anything, I have something I need to get off my little panda chest. <sighs> Sorry I was so wrapped up in my own problems that I never even noticed my mistake. But if you had told me how you felt in the first place, then these past few days could have been a whole lot easier. Right! Here you are. You're a designer extraordinaire. It may have been old, it may have been out of style, and it just may have had a moth hole or two in it. But when Blythe was done with it, it was nothing short of terrific! For my beautiful I'm your date? But I thought that if I had told you how I felt in the first place, then these past few days could have been a whole lot easier. Uh, I just assumed you'd want to go with me. Dad, one thing I've learned is that you should never make assumptions. But I'm so glad you did. Oh, and I knew you'd be so busy making outfits for everyone else that you'd probably forget about one for yourself, so... I asked Mrs. Twombly to pick one out for you. I haven't seen it yet, but she tells me it's boffo. 